Lots of people struggle with these issues, no matter what size, no matter race, uh, gender, sexuality, every, every type of person is affected by eating disorders and body image issues. So this is Clara, Operations Director of the Body Empowerment Project. Mm -hmm. And today here with Be Body Positive, Philly, yes. which is... Our program is Be Body Positive Philly. It's a mostly after school, sometimes during school program for middle and high school students. We talk all about body image, self-esteem, self-love to reduce eating disorder risk in Philly youth. Wow, cool. So do a lot of children or, or young people struggle with this issue? Yeah, much more, many more people than we think struggle with body image issues. About 13% of the population will get an, of the U.S. will get an eating disorder in their lifetime. That's about 28 million people. Um, and a lot of this work is done through a treatment lens, but we really want to reach it through a preventative lens because treatment is inaccessible, it's expensive, especially for students in a public school system like the Philly Public School, which I also went to a Philly Public School. We want to tackle it from a preventative lens. Lens. How do you do that? So our curriculum is a 10-week curriculum. We co-authored with our partner organization called The Body Positive and through an extensive research study we have showed that our program statistically significantly decreases eating disorder risk in our participants and increases body appreciation. Great, so what concretely happens in those, in those projects? Mm -hmm. So our, we have college facilitators who go into schools and facilitate the program. Our lessons range from what is health to talking about anti-fat bias to talking about messages you've received about your body. Um, and so in those workshops we have discussions, we have a lot of art-based and team activities, um, and it really is student-led. So whatever students are really interested in talking about and learning about, we try to cater to them. I imagine like if um, young people struggle with their body image is, is one of the issues that they might just not be open about that. Mm -hmm. Initially, right? Yeah, no, definitely. And I have a lot of students who say like this is the only space that they feel comfortable like talking about themselves, talking about their bodies, talking about their sexuality in the space that we create. Yeah, and how do you address the topic of sexuality with young people? I know that's always a, a difficult, yeah. it's, a, it's a difficult topic to talk about. Okay? We really encourage people to celebrate their bodies and, and preach body autonomy. We don't have lessons that are specifically about sexuality, but when yeah. you're talking about the body, it definitely comes up and gender comes up a lot. So we like to give space to our students to talk about those issues with people who are closer in age, who they may not feel comfortable with other people or older adult figures in their life. So we have like 18 to 24 year olds who were recently in high school, sometimes recently in middle school, who are able to talk about those issues with them. Do you think that um, social media contributes to all these? So definitely, and people are getting on social media younger and younger. It's really easy to be bombarded with information about diets. It's really about um, being bombarded with Photoshop and people manipulating photos to change their bodies and also but social media can also be a really wonderful thing where you see people who look like you or you see people who are like you who maybe you didn't in your school yeah. environment so it's all that's about true. using social media mindfully and that's really one of the things we teach as well. Right, amazing. Let's say if I was a, a young person and I, I would watch this video and I would I would realize oh I, I do kind of struggle with it and I feel bad about my body or like what, what would you recommend to them? Is there can they reach out to you? Or? Yeah, so you can reach out to us at um, our Instagram is at body underscore empowerment underscore project. Um, also, just like look towards the people in your life and rely on your friends and your family if you feel like that's a safe place. Find those safe places within your own community as well. Um, because I think a lot more people struggle with these issues than we care to admit, and there may be some space for you to create a space like we create. Wow, yeah. I feel it's really important just to know that other people, like even the people that we think probably don't struggle with it, like, you know, models, uh, yeah. like, all, especially, probably, um, struggle with these issues. And, yes. Um, yeah. Lots of people struggle with these issues, no matter what size, no matter race, uh, gender, sexuality, every, every type of person is affected by eating disorders and body image issues. Yeah. Wow. Thank you so much for talking awesome. with me. Yes, uh, of course. Great. Thanks for watching, and if you have any comments about this, please comment below.